Hey guys, I am back in Taichung, back in the car. I'm waiting to get my hair cut before I head to college. It's getting a little bit long. It's five now, so it's a good time to have a bit of a snack here. We have this is san jiao gu, and then this one is just fried yam, so di gua. Oh, this one is the mushrooms I got. I love fried mushrooms. And this one lastly is the classic Taiwanese fried chicken. <coughs> uh, today's mission is also getting my AP scores to my college. So I can register for classes I want to get, uh, that I want to get into. Because those classes will need those AP credits. For some reason, I can't view my scores. Uh, I tried using VPN but I still can't view my scores. My strategy for now is to send my past AP scores and then send my new AP scores when it comes out. So I'll send the 2018 ones on the actual day it comes out. But for my past scores, I'm gonna rush score them now. So at least I can get those credits in. Kind of sorted out the situation with a Duke advising sent them an email about my situation not sure if things will work out but I'll definitely go back home tonight and I'll have to do something about the missing scores and see if I can see them earlier and maybe send them sometime soon <coughs> it's kind of hard to eat use my computer and hold the camera at the same time the yam and mushroom was so so good. That I finish up the two bags myself and didn't leave any for my parents. It's hard to choose between yam and French fries, but after what I had today, I think I'll get yam again if I have to choose. But then, why do you have to choose? You can get both, right? Okay, uh, Duke hasn't replied me yet, so I guess there, all there is to do today is to just submit, uh, figure out how to get my missing scores. I'm currently at Taipei. I'm waiting here with my family at a Starbucks. I just got an ice latte because I'm a girl that loves milk too much that I have to get it in my coffee too. So I just like to talk about something that I realized yesterday while I was packing my suitcase. I realized I started having to uh, actually pay attention to the clothes I was choosing every day since um, I might be vlogging again today and then I will have to be careful about not wearing the same clothes or just having the same clothes appear too much in my vlogs. I swear this black t-shirt or black shirt thing is not the same one as the one I was wearing yesterday. After realizing that I kind of actually have to work around my outfits and coordinate them so then so that I'm not wearing the same ones on the days I'm actually gonna vlog. I finally figured out that I really need some new summer clothes because I've been wearing the same thing over and over. I think the one biggest thing about me not really having a big wardrobe is that I mostly stay at home. I prefer to stay at home. It's how my parents kind of raised me. They themselves like to stay at home. So that's why I don't really go out to shop with my parents. I don't really have someone I can shop with. I did try online shopping, but to be honest, the shipping and like the problems with like the size and like trying it on and finding out the size and the fit and then having to deal with the shipping again, that was, that was like too much. Well, today's mission is to, after getting lunch later, I will start shopping. Really need to get a bigger wardrobe that I can rotate around for like around half a year, at least for the summer or for a hotter days. It is almost time for leaving Starbucks to get lunch. Can you guys tell from the from the food here? 
I'm back at Maple Tree House. I visited this place like way back in like, uh, if you guys can remember, in my May vlog. I really wanted to bring my parents uh, here at least once before I go to college. Welcome to Jenny's Mini Mod Vlog. <laughs> Guys, I finally, I'm finishing up my food now. I'm not that hungry anymore, so I can like talk <coughs> with you guys while I'm eating the rest of my food, finishing them up. But I don't have a proper stand because, <laughs> let me show you guys. This is my stand right now, so this might be a little bit awkward because this angle. Yes, okay. Let me finish up my food while I talk to you guys about some things. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm eating, but then I'm not really talking. Um, oh, guys. Bunny, how cool! I forgot to call the phone. Oh, this works. Okay. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. Eating on camera and talking. Because <laughs> my family are doing really. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Have, I actually do have something to say. It's, this is not like spontaneous. I actually wrote it down on my phone today. Oh, I'm actually been busy with something these uh, from yesterday and up right until now. So I have the a um the AP score thing is still an issue. I still can view my scores, and you really need to figure out what to do with that. I. Need to call College Board about my missing scores because this girl forgot her AP number and she threw away her AP booklet. The minute she was done with high school, she threw away her booklet and I don't have my AP number anymore. Yeah. Also, because I forgot about the time zone problem. Was that a weird time to like take a bite? But because of the time zone problem, College Board is on a vacation for at least two days until um, Tuesday. Until they are available again on Monday night. Monday night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So all I can do now is send them a message, and hopefully they will reply me soon in like two work days. Yeah. <coughs> so that's probably on Tuesday, which is still pretty late. So nice. We'll see how it works out, yeah. So right now, I know for sure that I won't be able to get my AP scores by registration next week. So I won't be able to sign up for a few of my classes I need credits for. So I actually have to find replacement uh, classes for that. Mm. 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 Now, what am I supposed to do while I'm true? It's okay. I can always edit this out. Oh, I'm actually gonna contact the register, um, registration office in Duke later about my AP score problem and see what I can do there too. So, yeah, that's one thing I need to do later on. Oh, and I still have immunization stuff to do. I'm still not done with that. There's still problems with my form. I'm not sure why. Let's go to some lighter updates, not some college concerns that you guys might not be interested about. Water is good for you. I usually lose track of what I'm going to say in my mind. I have so much stuff I want to say. That's why I wrote it down. I actually stopped posting on social media or mainly updating my Instagram stories about my new uploads. Whenever I upload a new video, I believe I stopped since the May vlog. The video I uploaded before, or um, I filmed a lot of my friends and the people and the events that were happening around me. So I filmed and kind of edited the video mostly for my uh, Instagram followers or my Instagram followers who are my friends. But now that I'm moving on from school life, I graduated and I'm filming more of a private stuff and just whatever, more of whatever I want to film instead. So I really want to just keep this channel or to uh, this video to people who are actually interested and will want to watch this. So I stopped uh, uploading 
Yeah. I mean, I still updating on my Instagram about my new uploads. So, if you want to be updated and see my newest video when it comes out, please click the notification <laughs> bell or subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. Most bangers have it hard. They need to eat while they talk and you make sure the proportions Oops. right. They need to eat fast enough. No way. Because people watching mukbangs can't finish the food before the people eating them. The people eat uh, in the mukbangs. Oh, I'm having a cheese stick now. Am I doing it right? The one comes with cheese stick. I guess the rest of this will be just a sped up video of me finishing up my food. It says in my, it's a little bit cold, cold. No, no, the is cold. They might be more like interested in what's going on behind me than me actually eating. Got mushroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, can me I got more mushrooms because those are really, really good. And some vegetable chips. See you guys. Morning. It is 10 a.m. About to eat breakfast. Hopefully, full day of shopping. What? That's for my parents. Guys, they have homemade peanut butter paste here. <laughs> Ain't you excited? <coughs> Get up. <laughs> Yeah, you got clean. Oh, I am back from shopping. It wasn't the promised full day of shopping, but still, it was at least three hours. I realized this vlog kind of turned out to be more of a like a follow me for two days on a Taipei family trip. <coughs> See what I do because I've been vlogging. I feel like I've a lot. <coughs> or talked a lot to the camera these two days. That's a disclaimer that I'll have to put up. I am at somewhere I thought I would never ever visit really? in my life. <laughs> is it is it hard to guess where I am? Like from my background? Guys, I am at Wang Ka I'm so bad. <laughs> Guys, I'm at an internet cafe. It is 11.19 at night. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to play league. We're here to register for our classes for Duke, for college. I have brought my secret weapon. This hat will get me in all the classes I want to get in. I got this uh, the book pack page on and I also got a split screen of the world digital clock with milliseconds. The moment you click refresh, don't panic. Wait for it to completely refresh and then click go to enroll page. And have a backup plan guys. And I do not have one, so I will do that now. Should I? Nah. Go big or go home. <laughs> Go home, look, no, or just stay here for another one hour. And then play league. Stay here for another one hour, finish book bagging. Because I failed to book back the first yeah. classes I want to go. And then leave. Hello, I'm just trying to show you how to Oh, by the way, it smells pretty bad in here. Like, people smoke. are smoking a lot. I can't smell anything, I'm really sick. So. But that's kind of the So I have completely given up hope of my AP scores arriving at uh, Duke on time or the registration office on time. And this morning I found out that they arrived. I'll see you guys after registration, after midnight. It was truly an experience. I smell like cigarettes. I got most of the classes I want, I uh, did get the block I wanted for a class. But thankfully, in that last hour, I did 
prepare a backup for that particular class. So I still got the class, which is very nice. I am now going to pack for my trip tomorrow.